It's Wednesday, Klaus here. It's time for another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Hello, Klaus here. It's Wednesday and time for yet another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this episode, we're going to continue last week's video uh, in some way. Um, this video is going to be all about how to take a footage like this and make it look a little bit more cinematic. So that's what this episode is all about. And there are some different ways we could do this. So let's just have a look at the clip here. Here there is a clip UFO flying in from the side and uh, me being scared of the UFO and running away. That's basically the clip. So how to make this a little more cinematic. Again, there are different ways we can do that. What I like to do I actually like the white screen bars, black bars, and there's a couple of ways we could add those into DaVinci Resolve. First off, um, we could go into the media pool and I have here an aspect ratio pack, um, which you can uh, download for free if you just follow the link down in the description below. Here I have different uh, settings. Let's say we're going to put this on top here. This is just a little bit of a PNG file. So we can just extend this to fit our clip. And now we have actually given ourselves this white screen look here. Let me see in movies. A cool way of doing it in this way actually is that um, we can cheat a little bit because we are going to cut off some of our images. That means that we can actually do a little animation on the clip itself. So we are going to select the clip and then we're just going to go into the inspector and we're going to play around with the positions. And I'm just going to put in a keyframe at the positions and then I'll go forward. And let's say when we are here, I want the camera to move up a little bit like that. And then it will go to the end here. And when I'm at the end of my clip, I want this to move like that. So here we have that little animation and we see a little subtle camera movement on our shot, which are looking quite nice, I think. Again, that's one way of doing it. And remember all of these aspect ratios are absolutely free. Uh, another way, of course, is to, um, I'm just going to move the one I used. DaVinci Resolve also have some aspect ratios um, per default. I'm just going up here and I'm going to reset my position here. So that will be no movement here. So again, DaVinci Resolve have their own aspect ratios you can add in. And you can do that if you go to timeline, output blanking, and here we have the different blankings. So let's say we want to have this 240. We can actually just put this on. The thing is, if you do it this way, um, it's going to put the output blanking on all of the timeline. Maybe you don't want to have the output blanking on all of your clip. In that case, it's easier to use the aspect ratio pack I did, or you could um, make your own. Also, I'm just going to toggle this off again. And you do that by going to the timeline and you go down to output blanking and just reset. And then the output blanking will be off. Uh, actually, I'll show you a, um, a little cool transition as well, since we are talking about aspect ratios and black bars. So let's go into the effect here. I'm going to throw in an aspect ratio yet again. Just going to toggle that down here. So let's do a little bit of an animation. I'm going to um, copy paste the PNG file here, putting that aside. Or actually I can put this on top of the other one. And uh, being selected, I'm just going to push D to enable this. So we're only going to have the bottom one here. So now I'll go into the color tab. And here I have my PNG file. And then I'll just go into the mask. I'm just going to mask, let's say the bottom of this, like that. And I'm just going over here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to add in an alpha out. So what this is going to do is that if we take this 
and connect this to the blue here, we are going to simply to cut out the port part of the transition here. That means if we move this down, it's going to be out of the frame, okay? Just to simplify that, I'm just going to reset that. So we can then go in here, I can just take the output here, and I'm going to zoom this very closely here, and I'm going to put this at the corners here, like that, and I'm just going to connect this to the alpha yet again. Okay, I'll go back to the editing page, and in here I, uh, I can move the position up and down. So let's say I'll go, let's say, something like this into the clip, and I'm going to hit in a keyframe at the position, and then I'll go to the beginning, and I'm just going to drag this out. Okay, so now we have this movement here, uh, a, a clip becoming a cinematic shot. Okay, so I'll actually do the exact same here for the top layer. I'm just going to push D and I'll go into the color. And here we have that selected. So again, I'm going to do a mask. Here, uh, as precise as possible. So I'm just going to, again, do the mask right like that. And then again, I'm going to right click out here and putting in an alpha out, and I'm going to connect this right here. Then going back to the editing page. And then, you know, I'm just going to go forward to here where the movement stops. And with the top layer selected, I'm going to hit the position button and then I'll go to the beginning of the clip. And again, I'm going to zoom this out. So now we have this movement here. And of course we can time this way better than I did. So that's how you would do that effect. Uh, for instance, let's say you don't want to go and download my free aspect ratio pack. I don't know why you wouldn't, but let's say you don't want to do that, but you want to do the same effect. I'll show you a super quick way of doing that. I'm just going to throw this away. And then I'm going up here to the effects library and I'll go into the generators. I'm going to drag down a solid color. And the solid color is basically just a black color. So actually we can just take out my aspect ratio pack here as well. So let's uh, just um, kind of improvise this. So if I go into the solid color, I go into the settings of that, I can go into the cropping and I can crop from the top or from the bottom. So in this case, I'll just crop from the bottom, something like that. And now we have made the exact same effect. We can also duplicate this by pushing Alt, Alt and drag. So now we have a duplication of that. And we are just going to take this thing and move this upwards. So now we have uh, the exact same effect. And then we could, you know, super easily just take the bottom effect. Let's say we want to go inwards here. I'm going to go into the position. I'm going to put in a keyframe and just to save time, I'll go to the solid color above and I'll again push the keyframe, go to the beginning. And since we are on the bottom, I'm going to drag this up. I'll go to the bottom clip and I'll drag that down. And now we've done the same effect using a solid color. So this is a way of making your footage look super cinematic. Of course, you could also shoot on anamorphic lenses, but those are pretty expensive, at least some of them. So a way to get this aspect ratio is simply to add in black bars. And um, that's what people have been doing for years. And I think that this just give a more cinematic look than having a full screen picture like you get out of the camera. Again, it's a personal preference, but um, if you want your footage to look cinematic, add the bars and maybe add in some color grading and lights as well, but this is an outside shot. You could also add in 
lens flares and stuff like that, like I did in last episode episode. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share with your friends if you think it would help them out, and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.